Hi Earth Science, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn and welcome to your tarot love readings. We are going to take a look at a you versus them tarot spread here. So we'll begin by taking a look at your energies and see what's going on with you and then we'll shift over to your connecting energy, your romantic interest, your crush, your partner, you know, whomever this connecting energy is uh, for you here. The readings uh, and the message here is going to be a general one, as always, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address along with um, all the information that you will need. So the messages here are intended for... We've got the Magician. They are intended for Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. So the Magician... Okay. Let's see what else is coming in here. Three of Cups. Okay, that's great. The Hermit and the Sun card. Okay, overall quite optimistic here. I mean, the Magician is a powerful card here to have. You do have the Sun card here as well, which is optimism, love, happiness, the Three of Cups. I mean, this is great. This is, you know, the Magician here um, always points to new beginnings and opportunities here. Um, for some of you, you know, you might have recently met someone here. You are going to embark on a new beginning with this person. I'm seeing a journey, um, a beautiful journey that lies ahead for you. This is someone who I feel like you're going to get to know on a very deep and personal level. And you will go on to have a very healthy and a very emotionally fulfilling relationship with this individual. Okay. Um, now, it's creating opportunities for love. It's also being proactive in love when it comes to the magician. For those of you that are single, I feel like you're on the verge or maybe, you know, you're on the verge of meeting someone, attracting someone who um, I feel like will, it's almost like you manifested this person, okay? Um, someone who's going to bring a lot of excitement into the connection, a lot of love, a lot of joy, happiness, excitement, um, exhilaration here, Um or already has brought you a lot of happiness, joy, excitement. It's a love. The magician brings success in love here. Okay. And for those of you that are searching for love, the magician suggests that you should take action. You should take advantage of the opportunity you have because the opportunity may not come around twice here. Okay. Um, with the three of cups, for some of you, this is someone whom you could potentially feel as though, you know, you see yourself getting engaged or getting married with this person. You see yourself going on to have children with this person. You see yourself embracing a life, embracing a future with this individual here. Beautiful energies here. Um, Three of, uh, three of Cups here, this is all about, you know, it's celebrating here. It's celebrations here. It's, it's a collaboration. It's someone who sort of lifts you up here, okay? It's someone who's also a best friend as well as a lover. Someone who I feel like, you know, is part of... They, they can blend in with your family, with your community here. Um, there's a lot of joyful feelings with this card. Feelings of beauty, growth, compassion. So the the connection that you share with this person, it feels very powerful here. And notice how the maidens, they're all smiling here. So this person will bring a lot of happiness and joy into your life here. For some of you, I feel like maybe this is someone from your past who has come back and you've reconnected with this person, but you will share a special bond with this person over um, the time to come here. Um, for those of you that have had maybe problems within the relationship, this signals that uh, the end of hardships, that you'll be able to resolve any differences you might have had in a connection, you'll be able to deal with the problem efficiently and effectively here. Now with the Hermit here, this is a, for some of you, I feel like you know, especially for those of you that have been seeking love here, for those of you that have been maybe feeling a sense of emptiness or loneliness and have been doing a lot of withdrawal or just searching, you know, searching for your, uh, for answers for yourself here, searching for love. The good news is that love is, it's here, it's around the corner or, you know, it's in front of you. All you have to do is take advantage of it take advantage of the opportunity because it's intended and it's meant for you and you do deserve it here um so some of you i feel like you may you know you may pull away you may find yourself pulling away a little bit um just to sort of reflect 
just to sort of reflect on this person who has come into your life here. Um, it's also about, to me, it signals that this person, you're developing a very strong romantic connection with this person. Um, and I feel like you're both wanting something very deep here. Okay, you're both wanting something very deep. You're both um, creating a very strong foundation here for the future. A very strong foundation. There is a need. You may have some fears here. You may have some fears or insecurities here. Um, and you have, to, you know... Sometimes you have to go within here to truly understand what those fears or insecurities are because they could potentially jeopardize a connection. So if there are fears or insecurities that are creeping up and arising to the surface, it's best that you deal and address them because I feel like they can get in the way of this connection. And the Sun card is just beautiful. I feel like this person allows you to connect with your inner child. Um, this person is bringing you a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, someone who is, who's had a very positive effect on you, someone who's brought a lot of warmth, vibrancy, and sunshine into your life here. Now we'll move over with this, uh, we'll move over in, um, to your person here and have a look what's going on with them. So they do have the King of Swords here. The Queen of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, so with regards to how this person feels about you, I feel like they're very honest. Okay, this person is someone who's very honest and someone who values honesty um, above all thing above all things. Um, the King of Swords here. You may feel like this person. I feel like they're like a natural wordsmith. Wordsmith here. This is someone who I feel like is very good at communicating here. Um, I'm seeing that this person is someone who has high standards, who is. I feel like they're very disciplined here in their approach. There's a lot of discipline, respect, or in integrity around this individual here. They respect you. They really do. Um, and to me, I feel like this person is someone who... They want to forge ahead with this connection. I'm seeing that, yeah, they have high ethical standards of themselves and of this relationship as well. Um, yeah, in Rome, when it comes to romance here, the king is someone who's very um, ethical and respectful here. They're typically not the, not your romantic type, okay? They're typically not your romantic here, not your typical romantics here. But it does imply that this person has high standards when it comes to romantic partners. And it does imply that this is someone who's going to want to challenge you and push you to do your best. This is someone who's going to want to grow and learn with you. They're very open and honest with their communication. I can see that this person, there is something here that I feel like this person has been wanting to communicate with you. But I feel like they've been holding back. They've sort of been shouldering this and keeping it to themselves something that they've been wanting to tell you um, it could be something that's been weighing on their mind it could be something good or it could be something that they feel a little bit uneasy about something that i feel like is maybe troubling them it has they've been stressing over telling you something now for some of you maybe you feel like this person has pulled away you know you do feel really great about the connection you feel very confident but right now with the hermit maybe you feel as though your individual is going into hermit mode okay and they've been not responsive about a situation maybe there's been some conflict or something to have you know pushed you both there but from what I can see, this person will reach out. They will communicate. There is something here that they want to tell you. They want to build on this connection. You're, develop, you're both developing a very, you're laying down a very strong foundational factor when it comes to this relationship. They are serious. They are committed. They are in it for the long term here. With the Ten of Wands, I feel like this person is someone who's going to work, want to work very hard to keep their commitment here, to keep, you know, to ensure your trust, your loyalty here. This person is someone who I feel like is very, they're committed here, they're committed to making it work, they're committed to, you know, the idea of this relationship. Um, but I do feel like this person maybe tends to, when it comes to emotions here, because especially if they are in air energy, I mean, air signs typically don't like to sit um, and, you know, fully feel their emotions. Instead, they like to intellectualize their emotions. They like to make sense of it, make, you know, logic out of it. They try to understand their emotions. So I feel like there's something key that this person is trying to understand when it comes to their emotions for you. They could be, you know, um, developing stronger feelings for you. And as a result, this person is someone who wants to process that and really try and understand it. But they're not telling you. They're not coming forward and telling you. Maybe they're scared that you might reject them. Maybe they're scared that you might not feel the same way. For some of you, I'm also see, seeing with the three of 
um, pentacles here that this person does want to come together okay they want to come together they want to build a connection they want to work on this connection they want to repair something they want to make something right they want to work something out with you here and they're willing to do that they are they're willing to go to extreme lengths for you and for this connection here and for making it work here now I'm also seeing with the three of pentacles that for some of you there is going to be a need to seek advice from an outside influence someone who's impartial to this situation or is this person seeking advice about something how to come forward and tell you something here they could also be I, I feel like they're talking to their friends about you their family or their friends I feel like they're sharing you know they're talking about you here your your name is on their lips they are they're, they're thinking about you they're talking about you um, they're telling their friends about you here it's a good thing it's definitely a good thing I mean if they're if they're an air energy how can they not be talking about you or if they do have air influence in their chart how could they not they're definitely thinking about you and they're definitely you know talking um, about you here as well from what I can see so look I do feel like you know this person has a lot of um, there's a lot of passion as well. There's a lot of passion here, um, a strong sense of attraction here. But there is something that I feel like is the Ten of Wands does sort of signify. It's like, like res responsibilities or it's stress is what I'm seeing here. It does illustrate that there is something here that is putting strain on this person. It may not necessarily be directly to, related to you, but it is somehow affecting the relationship. So maybe that's why they're not necessarily communicating or holding back from the communication. Maybe something else has their time, their, their attention and their focus right now. Um, but look, they are committed. They're committed to making it work. They're committed to, you know, repairing something here, fixing something here. And whatever it is, I do feel, I mean, they're an air sign. They're not going to keep quiet for too long, right? Especially if they're an air sign. So I do feel like they will come forward and tell you and open up. Maybe they're just trying to find the right time, the right words, the right thing to say here. Okay. Um, and yes, I do want to finish up with just some quick advice here before I let you guys go. Let's see what advice is coming in for you here with regards to this connection with someone. I mean, this is beautiful. You've got the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Wow. You guys are in alignment with each other. Or even if you're out of alignment with each other right now, do not stress. Do not worry because you'll come back into alignment with one another. You are both... Um, you're both attracted one another okay you both manifested and attracted each other here because you guys are on the same wavelength you're on the same vibrational um, match you want what he, he or she wants he or she wants what you want so you guys both want the same thing you can be two different people with two different approaches but essentially you want that same end point you want you have that same end goal that shared intention here you know that pulling energy here so the nine of cups i mean you both bring a sense of happiness and enjoyment into one another's life you both feel like you know you're a wish fulfillment a wish granted a wish come true here you've both attracted each other into your lives and you'll attract that alignment um that realignment once again and with the ten of cups you know you will get that rainbow so for those of you that are going through some sort of emotional challenge with this individual um you will come out of it here and you will become stronger at because of it i am seeing that this person is someone who wants something really long term with you they you know they are uh, fairy tale romance with you someone who wants to settle down get married go on to have children build a life a family with you so this is someone who has long-term visions you know they're not just in it for right now they're in it for the right reasons here okay guys there you have it thank you for watching for listening please show your support by subscribing to the channel liking commenting or sharing if you're after a personal reading feel free to inquire otherwise guys do take care keep safe and i will catch up with you all later in the week bye for now